Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So now that we have blended the two background elements of our freezer burn poster, we want to finish the job and cover this area of the mountains here. In the original picture, the haze from the sky created a slight blue hue that commonly happens with landscapes in the far background. To fix this, we're going to use the lasso tools. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that the roads and mountains layer is selected. If you select the sky layer and try to use the lasso tool, then you'll be selecting the sky layer and we don't need to change anything there. So with that layer selected, we're going to click on the polygonal lasso tool. We have a bunch of tools to choose from. I prefer the polygonal lasso. Now we're going to press and hold Z and we're going to zoom in. And notice the moment I let go of Z, I go back to my original tool. Very, very useful. So I'm just going to click around the mountain. Now the top of the mountain doesn't matter because the layer that I'm using doesn't conform to that area, so I don't have to worry about it. But once I get down to this area, it's more important. So the point of reference I'm going to use is this shadow line area, because that's generally when the area starts turning blue. And we're going to close the mask by getting that little circle next to the lasso tool. And there we go. Now we can make changes. So we're going to go up to image, adjustments, and color balance. And we're going to try and balance the color out as best as we can. Add a little red. Change some of the shadows a little bit so we can get closer. That's pretty darn close, so we're just going to finish the job by adding a little bit of contrast. And dropping the brightness a little bit. And there we go, it looks pretty good. So deselect it. Or actually, before we deselect it, let's look at it. Press, the Z, press Z for the zoom tool, go up to the options panel and pick, pick fit screen, and that looks a lot better. So we're going to look at it before and after. Much better. So actually, let's go ahead and get rid of that. And before and after. Before, after. Much, much better. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do uh, is we're going to add a city into the background. We're going to add a little bit of a city, and we're going to make it dilapidated and broken and totally destroyed. Because, as we said in a previous poster, it's post-apocalyptic and it's all zombies, so a city probably wouldn't survive stuff like that. And we're going to get to that in the next video.